Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you a little uh, crack effect. I'll show you. This is the wall cracking effect. Okay, let's start it. Go to 3DX Max. I'm using 3DX Max 2009 because I like this version most. So this is my dinosaur modeling. Okay, let's get started. Create a new view, and in the pers perspective, you create a simple box. I'm creating a simple box here. Mm. Using the parameters, I can adjust the height, width, and length of the box. Okay, it's ready. This is looking good. And let's create a little spear. We need an object for the collision property. And this spear collide with this box, the crack, the process of cracking will happen. Okay, let's arrange the spear a little bit. Okay, then. We are ready to go. We can create a simple animation. Set the auto key and move the bar to time 20. Just create a little animation. Okay, we are done with the animation. Sorry. Set the perspective view. Okay. the animation. So what we want to do is when the spear collide with the box we need to create some cracking on the box the wall okay for this uh, creating the cracking you are using a third party plugin called Rayfire you can download and install the Rayfire from the internet okay select the Rayfire from the drop down menu Rayfire I'm using the demo launch, <coughs> demo version. Okay, this this is the box of Ray Fire. Insert the objects, the dynamic impact object. Select the here we are. Uh, the box is our impact object. The dynamic object here. So select the box and R. Then go to the fragments. We are to to select the type of cracking so uniform regular the impact point most cars are the many like woods like wood splinters it will crack like wood splinters uh, we need some bricks okay, slice of bricks okay, select bricks uh, I'm just selecting the uniform the Voronoi uniform fragmentation type then type the iteration how many pieces you need this handle just around 80 then click the fragment and it will fragment the whole box here are the pieces the each pieces so I go to the objects and here are here are fragments and click the menu and send it to sleeping list. Okay. Then we need to confirm the uh, static object. There's an option is static uh, kinematic objects and select the spear and R. Uh, the static object is the spear. When the spear collides with the box, the box will crack. This is what we need. Select the box and go to physics and make sure you check this the home grid as ground turn one otherwise the cracking pieces will go to the death of pit <laughs> I'll call it the death of pit I'll show you some 
I'm sorry, it's when I turn it off, click on the preview button, you can see the whole animation. The spear collided with the box and box cracks. I'm sorry for a little bit slow. When the box cracks, you can see the pieces goes down because we not uh, turned on the home grid's base it's, it's ground so there is no ground it's, it's staying in the uh, vacuum so it was down <laughs> crazy Just wait for it's complete. It will automatically create the every each and every key frame key frames. Key frames. My English sucks. Okay, this check that this turn on. Okay. Now we have turned on the home builders ground option. Then we can check the preview. You can see the difference here. When the spear collides with the box, it call the box cracks and the pieces will stay in the ground. It will give you a nice effect. A nice realistic effect. No, it's good. When the wall cracks, all pieces will stay in the ground. It will create a nice look and will create more effect I'm having my computer is a little bit slow so I'm facing this ok let's wait for it complete you can see the difference here the, all the particles the, all the pieces will stay in the ground because we are checking this as the home grid is down. If we turn on, the, the, the each and every pieces will go and <laughs> to death of it. <laughs> I showed you the death of it. Okay. I think it's going to finish. This is the plugin. I'm using the Rare Fire 1.6, the version 1.6. If you are using an uh, older version, the options are changed, a uh, little bit changed. Okay, another one thing. We move the timeline here. Nothing will happen. The sphere will go. No, first animation. No special effects here. To add this effect in our timeline. There is another option called back. Click on back. It will automatically set the keyframes. All click keyframes. Now timeline. Pretty easy. Huh? It's a pretty easy technique. The same plugin is used in many films, Hollywood films like Transformers, Spider-Man, The Building Collapse. They use it to create the illusion of the collapsing buildings the same plugin is used ok it's nice to watch I'm using 3D Express 2009 because I like this version most I was 2014 but I like 9 it's cool and easy, easy to understand I learned modeling using this 2009 3DX Max. It helped me more. And I like this version. Okay. Okay. If you move the timeline, you can see the animation.
because when we click back it will automatically set the each and every key fun show timeline nice yeah okay now the time for adding some details actually I forgot to say some one thing actually we don't need this peer we don't need this peer so click on this peer and right click you uh, can close this and right click see the keyframes here ok I don't use the spear so click the spear click the spear here <laughs> and select height selection what happened height, se height selection the spear is hidden only the cracking of wall is there it will create a nice effect so no. Maybe some problem. There is some yeah, I just dis displaced this. Okay, do it again. I'm doing some stupid things. Okay. I just click and misplaced these parts. Okay, do it again. Let's select hide the spear. You can do a cool animation here. 